The effort by both Donald Trump and other Republicans to distance themselves from Project 2025 continues. But it doesn't make a lot of sense and it hasn't from the very beginning. We're gonna turn now to an ex advisor to Mike Pence, uh, Olivia Troy, who points out why it's such nonsense to make these claims now. So what do you think about Trump distancing himself from Project 2025, given the fact that former officials that were in his administration are part of this? Do you believe him? <laughs> Hi, Pam. Well, well, no. I mean, look, this is preposterous. Uh, if you look at the collaborators and the authors of this plan, a lot of these people came from directly uh, people that served in Trump's cabinet during this administration. There are people that I worked with, I sat in policy meetings with. They were a lot of these people were senior administration officials. Um, whether it be Johnny McEntee was in charge of staffing for presidential personnel, or whether it be Stephen Miller who's behind the scenes pulling the strings on this as well. But you've got Ben Carson listed in here. You have the former deputy secretary of DHS, the acting secretary, Ken Cuccinelli in here writing about immigration in DHS. I mean, so and then Ben Carson, come on, he's been out there on the campaign trail with the president. So I think this is just ludicrous. Yeah, it's, I mean, Look, I know that you watching this, you're familiar with this. We've been talking like people have been covering Project 2025 for some time. But like, how did the Republicans think they were gonna get away with one truth distancing themselves from this from this group when it's all of their people and they've advertised it? Steve Bannon can't go 10 minutes without talking about how awesome it is. They all do. It's their thing. We know it's their thing. But they don't want it to be their thing, not because they suddenly disagree with it. Importantly, they're still gonna do Project 2025. They're just worried about sort of the implication of being tied to it. Here is Maggie Haberman for more with more on that. His aides have actually been very frustrated by a lot of the Project 2025 efforts. It is true that some key Trump advisors are involved in Project 2025. It is true that some of those people would almost certainly staff another Trump administration. But there's a lot of what is in that document that, that you've never heard Trump talk about that I don't think that he would actually be interested in. There's a whole also you know swath of, of policy that both of you know he just doesn't care about. And so there are specific discrete things that he is interested in, but by answering this by giving this statement. On the one hand, yes, that statement is now going to be reflected on in most stories going forward in coverage. It'll say Trump says he has something to do with this. But then everybody's going to fact check that statement and it has just made this into a bigger deal. So this is exactly what Trump's advisors had been concerned about for some time. Is this statement going to make this go away? It doesn't really seem like it. Yeah, and I don't see why it would. It should not. This is all super obvious. And as she points out, yeah, they're totally going to do this. Not only because they do agree with the vast majority of the components of Project 2025, but also, as she says, Donald Trump has a few terrible things he wants to do. And then outside of that, like, just lazy, just do whatever you want. I don't, he doesn't want to have to pick people, he doesn't want to have to staff these offices. The video will continue in just a moment. But first, I have a message for you. TYT needs your help. Membership is vital to survival. So please go to tyt.com slash team and become a member today. So he's going to be like, just you do it. I'll outsource it. You choose whatever crazy January 6th insurrectionist you want and just flood the EPA or the DEA with it. And that's what you'll have. Now, they are really trying not just publicly to distance themselves, but privately as well. Trump advisors Chris Lasavita and Susie Wiles have been attacking the group. They've also been meeting with the group, apparently five meetings where they've asked them to tamp it down. Not they've told, like, notice, they're not saying, hey guys, you are talking as if you're gonna have any influence over the White House, and you're not, because you're radicals, and we don't agree with that. That is not what is going on. They're saying, could you just Cut it for a little bit. We're, we're, we're gonna let you in. We're gonna do your thing, but you're making us look crazy. That is what's going on, and it's just that shallow. I'll take you back to the first attempt to distance themselves. It's Donald Trump on True Social saying, "I know nothing about Project 2025." Well, that's what he said about QAnon. You'll recall, and he has since tweeted QAnon stuff literally hundreds of times. So you should not put any stock in what he says when he tries to distance himself when you know that they are into, they are ideologically aligned. Sharon, what are your thoughts? Yeah, he didn't know anything about the Proud Boys or David Duke or he mm -hmm. said Eugene Carroll was 
his wife. Okay, so yeah, listen, it's not going to work though. And I think that um, the BET Awards and Taraji P. Henson has a great deal uh, to mm-hmm. do with the fact that it's really getting out there. And people are saying, what is this project, huh? And some of the things that are now floating around social media, it's like kind of smacking people in the face and it's connecting with them in a real way. But it doesn't mean that he's not going to continue to try to pull the wool over people's eyes. And you're also right in your assessment. He doesn't care as long as the litmus test is they pledge their loyalty to him. When you click the join button and become a tier two member, you get access to all of our weekly top 10 lists. What are you waiting for?